Hello there. My name is Pokemario2401, and today I will be teaching you how to use Lie Slip to get them in Streamlabs OBS and how to use Live Split. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the link I put in the description. It will take you to here. Now you're going to want to do go to live slip 1.7.6. You're going to want to click on that and you get something downloaded to your computer. You get this zip file. Trying to open up live slip says that you should extract all. You're going to want to do that. I've already done it before this and then you're going to it'll get, take you to here. Then you're going to want to go down, open live split and bam, you got your timer. Now, you're going to need to edit your timer because you don't want just a timer. So you're going to want to right click and go to edit splits. Here, you're going to want to enter your game name, the game that you want to speed run. I'm going to be I like to speed run Super Mario Odyssey. I started it like yesterday and I know what you're thinking. How did you get a 1 hour, 57 minutes, and 6 seconds in an Odyssey any percent? That's not beatable compared to the less than 1 hour 5 people got. To that I say, you ain't seen nothing yet. Anyway, you're going to want to enter your game. And then clicking here will give you a list of all of the categories that you can speedrun. I'm going to be speedrunning any percent. So, oh, wait, what? Any percent. There we go. And then you want to keep everything the way it is here for start timer at and attempts. Um, if there is an auto splitter for the game, you might want to activate that. Basically, it triggers the splits automatically. For console games, there aren't really. There aren't because it can't sense how how you are. But with some computer games, I'm sure that like that the splits go for you. I'm not sure how auto split works. I never had to use it. Anyway, for a segment. These are going to be your splits. So here's the here is the thing itself. And you're going to want to go into here. And you're going to want to list off each of the splits. For those of you who don't know, the splits are for, like, dividing the game into multiple different sections. For example, for each area in the game or each level. That would pro you could split the map up. For example, I could do cap the for the cap kingdom, cascade for the cascade kingdom, and you could go on forever like this for until you got enough splits. Or you could be me and put in stupid names to be funny. Or just Names other than like stating exactly what the level is. So, so I'm just gonna enter in my splits. And there's, I just need to memorize, like, go through my brain and see what areas are in the game.
Okay, so once you've entered in all of your splits, it, they'll appear all here. Now, once you've done this, you do not want to tamper with them. They are exactly how they should be, and that is good. Now you're going to want exit here, and next up on our list, do 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 edit layout. So, you see this here? We're going to edit the layout. Now, it automatically gives you the title, splits, timer, and previous segment. Now, for timer, you're going to want to not have timer and have detailed timer. So, let's just do that. There. Detailed timer just gives you some more facts. Go to lists, and we've already gone over splits, so subsplits. Those are basically dividing each split into smaller sections. For example, in the original Super Mario Bros., there are eight worlds. Let's say one split was eat was one world, and each subsplit was a level in that in the, each world. You could do that. It's only really used for longer speed runs. I don't need to use them because Mario Odyssey isn't really a long game. I mean, I spend two hours playing it every speed run, but like, it's not a long game. Okay. Then you got information. You can, well, there's a lot of these, you can just hover over them and see. You can show the world record for the run at the, somewhere on yours, like, for Mario Odyssey, any percent. This says that the world record is 59.19 by Parasite and Oralme, however you pronounce that. You could put in a possible time save. I don't, I, I just like it how it is right now. You can just hover over all of these and see what they do. Media. You could add a video. You could do it for like showing off how you're doing versus the world record. You could show off how you're doing compared to your PB. You could do either of those. And like, yeah. Sound effects for each time you restart a run or or go through a split or something like that. And then you could show, use a graph to show how well you're doing for it. I don't really see how that's useful, but okay. Actually, it is kind of useful. Just I don't know how to use it. Oh, didn't want that. Anyway, you can also set it. That it's horizontal, so you could have it at, like, the top of the screen or the bottom of the screen or something like that. Or you could just keep it vertical, like how it is here. I prefer to have it vertical. It just seems like it takes up less space on the screen. Layout settings. You could change it so that the background is a solid color, like how it is here. The vertical gradient. Let's say, like, red and... Red and black, or something like that. I don't. I don't know. Horizontal gradient, or you could use an image. Now, let's say my image. I wanted to use sands, cause you know, it's sands. There we go. We got sands right there. I like to keep it a solid color, and I like to just keep it black. Fonts, you could uh, tamper with the font of the timer, the times, so the timer, times, and just all around text. I like to be someone who triggers people, so I'm going to go with Comic Sans for everything. Let's see how many people hate, hate me after this. It's probably going to be a lot. There, you could do that. You could change the colors for everything from like best segment, ahead for gaining and losing, behind gaining and losing. Just keep something under my desk. You could do, change the colors for everything. Just play around with everything until you get a setup you like. Like, 
I guess set the title to be red. And, I don't know, blue. Actually, it looks really nice. Instead of vertical, it could just be plain, boring, vertical, or horizontal. I like this. I'm actually going to keep this. Anyway, just play around with everything until you get a set thing you like. I'm going to do red and blue here because... Yeah, I just like red and blue. Anyway, I don't think it's actually doing anything. And I'll just keep it the way it is. Anyway, after that, you, so, once you toy around with everything and get a setup you like, you're done with that. Now, here's one of the most important ones, the settings. You're going to want to go over here and look at the hotkeys. Now, here's how hotkeys work. You got one for start slash split for starting a run, or split for going to the next split if you're in the middle of a run. Let me just move this over here. To restart a run, undo a split, skip a split, pause, switch comparison to previous, switch comparison to next, and you can toggle glo global hotkeys. I'll talk about that afterward. So, press, so clicky here, you can, it says set hotkey dot dot dot. You're going to want to set whatever you want the, it for to be. For me, I want to have my, uh, my key to start a run slash a split in the run to be space so just pressing space will activate that reset i'm just going to keep it at one like there well it wasn't at one before but undo split i'll pre i'll do delete or back skip split i'll do return or enter pause p switch comparison o let's just say and then this will be i Global hotkeys basically mean that no matter what you're doing, whether or not you're actually using the, like, if you click on the splits, with global hotkeys off, you have to be clicked on the splits and working on the splits to for the thing, for the splits to activate. However, global hotkeys make it so that whether or not you're, you, you have... The split selected as your task or not, you'll just go. It, with global hotkeys, I don't really like them. Like, with computer games, they're easy because then you're able to play the game. You don't have to click over here, start to split, and then click back to, to control your character. However, if you're not, it could be kind of annoying. Like, if you're trying to text out, type out like the title of your stream for Twitch or YouTube and then you press space and your space is your start slash split and you have global hotkeys on it'll mean that you'll keep on starting and splitting and I just like to keep it off unless I'm doing a computer game which I'm not I'm doing Mario Odyssey as you can see which is on the Nintendo Switch which is obviously not a computer well Mario Odyssey the Switch is a computer but like not like a PC. Anyway, after that's done, you got you got your splits right here. Now, how do you enter them into Streamlabs OBS? Sure, you could just have like the win, like it's set to desktop or display capture. You just display. You just only show. You show like exactly what's going on on the computer. And then you just have like the window of the game here and then the split splits just off to the side. Or you could or like let's say you're doing console. I am not doing console, how so So like I'm just keep gonna keep it here so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing. So to add in the splits, you're gonna wanna go to add new source, video capture. 
Wait, no, not video capture. Window capture. Add source. I've already got splits activated for my console. Um, you, you can name this whatever you want as long as you can tell what it is. I'm just going to name it splits. And you're going to want to set the window to be live split so that you're recording the live split. Capture cursor, you can choose whether or not you want to. I don't want to. And there, you got it activated and ready. Now, that is all you're going to need. All you just need to do is like record or go live. That is going to be it for the, today's tu tutorial. Be sure to like and subscribe if this was very helpful. Let me know down in the comments below if it helped or if you got any questions about what's going on or you need help with anything, just ask. I will help you. I'll try my best to help you. Probably will be able to help everyone. Anyway, be sure to join me with the live streams. I'll be streaming Mario Odyssey tomorrow at like uh, 4.30. And may you cancel. I don't know. Anyway. Be subscribed. Drop. Be sure to like and subscribe. And turn on the notification bell. And I'll be seeing you all. In the next video. Or stream. Oh, see ya.